Welcome back to Fluid Mass Training. In this image, I actually have our image brought up in Photoshop, and we're going to do a few little steps here to make this image work a little bit easier. In the traditional ways of Fluid Mass, we did lose a little bit of this detail, a little bit harder to get this image extracted with all those little petals in between uh, the dandelion pulled out cleanly. So our first step, we're going to do one little tweak in Photoshop before we bring it into our Fluid Mask version 3. We're going to go up into the Image menu, go to our Adjustments, go right down here to Invert Image. The Invert is going to work really, really good to our favor. So with this being done, just one little trick in Photoshop, go back up into our Filter, go to Vertis, bring up Fluid Mask. Now this is going to render up the image. On the very bottom, you're going to see a progress bar, Render Up. That's going to create all those blue edges that pop up automatically. Those are our edge detection. With those pulled up, I'm going to go over to the left, and I want to use my second red brush, which is my Delete Local, to take out that background first. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe out the background. Our next step is to do our image autofill with our Keep. I'm going to go down on the very bottom here and turn off my object edges, just so I can see the image a little bit more clearly. Go to our blue blend tool, which is located underneath your red delete brushes. And I'm going to use my bracket key on my keyboard to scale up my brush just a little bit. Now I'm just going to go ahead and paint all around the outside here. And you want to make sure you get everything in between as well. So I'm going to make two swipes around the outside. Make sure I get all that spot inside there. Leaving a little bit of green in between will maybe leave you a little bit of cloudiness, and that's what we don't want. And for the inside here, I'm just going to take my brush size back down just a little bit more, and I'm going to paint these little segments in between the stem. Get this side here, and now we'll go ahead and tackle the right side. Make sure I get the little tip there, and one little swipe down the center here. Now when I create the cutout, it's not going to look like much in Fluid Mask, because it is an inverted image. But what we're going to do here, since I don't see any of the black or green showing through, which makes me think that I have a pretty good cutout so far, I'm going to go ahead and do my Save and Apply. This is going to pop us back right into Photoshop. Now with this image being pulled in here, the easiest way to convert it back to your normal way is go back into your image, adjustment, and go ahead and revert that. That's Apple I on your keyboard for your shortcut. There is our original brought back in. Can't see too much detail here. I generally would like to go over to the image and hold the hand over the layer and hold Apple and click. That's going to load our selection for us. Then I'm going to go down to the very bottom and select that little black box with the white circle. That creates our alpha channel. With our alpha channel selected, I now can go into my channel menu, click layer mask zero, turn off my RGB, and there's the detail that we're able to extract this dandelion from foreground from background. 